It is my cuddly, you know, sexy, you know, you know, mood shifter type of fragrances. What's up my cherry bombs? On today's video, I'm gonna be sharing some of my monthly favorites. And this is the favorites from September. I wanted to incorporate these type of videos so you guys know what I'm really wearing, what I really love. So if you would like to see that, let's get right into this video. The first fragrance that I'm really loving right now and it's transitioning me to the fall time is one from Philosophy. This is a fragrance that I like to wear to bed, but it's really working its way up to an everyday soft fragrance specifically for the the fall time and it is fresh cream soft suede you guys already know how i feel about this it kind of gives me like a popcorn warm nutty feel it has whipped cream in it it's super sweet super delectable it's mouth watering and it's one of those fragrances from philosophy that lasts longer than most fragrances from their line this is so beautiful. It is really hard to find this, but it's very similar to Warm Cashmere. So if you see Warm Cashmere, definitely get it because the only difference is the suede note. And this is one that I've really been enjoying this September. So you guys know that I recently discovered a house named Sniff and Sniff has amazing fragrances for a low price. And you guys know that I love to save coins, especially when it comes to fragrances. When I found out about Sniff, I've really been enjoying their fragrances. Their fragrances are really nice. They are not a dupe house they make nice original fragrances for a fraction of the price there's one that i've really been enjoying and it is sweet ash now sweet ash has the nuances of baccarat rouge 540 but when it dries down it turns into its own fragrance it has those vibes because of course baccarat rouge 540 has saffron and jasmine and whenever a fragrance house uses saffron and jasmine people automatically associate it with baccarat rouge 540 but this is not that this is its own fragrance it does remind me of it for a good 15 to 20 minutes but it goes into a different path and i really like it sniff fragrances are really nice comment down below if y'all would like to see a full house of sniff because usually fragrances like that that are really affordable are dupe houses but this is its own house it's original and it's cruelty free it's definitely clean and they're giving you quality fragrances. So comment down below if y'all would like to see a video on Sniff. Now you guys know that this fragrance that I'm about to share with you guys is a fragrance that I usually wear to bed. And I like to say it is my cuddly, you know, sexy, you know, you know, mood shifter type of fragrances. But lately I have really been using this for comfort reasons. And it's from Fenty and it is Fenty EDP. Now it is musky, it's floral, it's ambery. It's sensual, it has a little bit of sweetness, it's beautiful. It stands out whenever you wear it. It's close to the skin, but the sillage on this is beautiful. When Fenty came out with this fragrance, I really enjoyed it when I got it in my collection and I was wearing it to bed because I thought it was very sensual and close encounter type of fragrance. But lately I've been feeling a little weird. So whenever I would spray this, it would lift my spirits. And I really think it worked. It is one of those fragrances that you could definitely wear for special occasions. You could wear this for close encounter, date night, and in everyday use, honestly, because it's not one of those fragrances that will offend anyone. I really love this. And this is one that I really been enjoying this September. Now this next fragrance, I definitely been enjoying this for Netflix and chill for date night. And it's from Billie Eilish and it is Eilish. This one right here is pretty. It's a nice, beautiful, ambery, floral, sugary vanilla. If you're looking for a mouth-watering, sugary, I wanna say kinda lactonic, cause it gives me those vibes, then this is what it is. I love this fragrance. I think that everyone should have this in your collection, especially if you're trying to get into those sugary, mouth-watering fragrances such as Germans. This is one that you need to have in your collection. This fragrance that I've really been enjoying is one that I've been using to transition me from summer to fall. And it's just a beautiful powdery fragrance. And it is Velvet Tonka. This is an almond bomb. It has tonka bean, so it's almond tonka bean. And you have some vanilla in this and you have powdery notes and you have some sweetness in this. This is beautiful, you guys. This is a fragrance from BDK that I'm really loving. I don't know if it's becoming my favorite fragrance, but it's really climbing up to that point as far as BDK fragrances goes. 
I really love it. When it goes on the skin, it goes to work. It is powdery, it's sensual, it's sweet, but it's not uber sweet. Like it's not one of those sweet fragrances that's like toothache inducing sweet. It's really subtle, but what really stands out for me in this fragrance is that almond note. It's just amazing and it is screaming, screaming fall fragrance. So if you're looking for a fall fragrance, Velvet Tonka is beautiful. The next item that I've been enjoying this September is a body oil and this body oil is from Palmer's and it is Palmer Skin Therapy Oil. This oil is almost done and it's about to be time for me to re-up on this oil. I really love this because it is a dry oil, but it also helps with the scars. It helps with stretch marks, dry, damaged skin, uneven skin tone, and aging skin. And I love this on my arms, on my legs, and I definitely see the difference since I've been using this bottle. And it's only one bottle. Like, this is my first time. And I've definitely seen some scars that were not major that was really you know, and my skin is getting even and it's, it keeps me moisturized even though I don't feel greasy. So if you're looking for a body oil that is just simple, just easy for you to go then get the skin therapy oil and the one make sure it's the one with the pump on it because it's so easy to just squirt on and then just go that's it and i don't have to worry about it transferring on my clothes because it is perfect like i'm very moisturized and hydrated but it's not greasy the next item i've been enjoying is a bar soap the shea butter and vanilla bar soap it's so fresh it's so so good and I love this. I had it in the body wash and my bar soap finished and I was like, oh my God, let me get this in the bar soap and I love it. This is a staple in my um, shower routine. If you're looking for a good bar soap that will get you clean and leave a nice scent trail on you, then this is one that you need to have in your collection. The next thing that I've been enjoying lately is from e.l.f. and this is the e.l.f. foundation. This is the foundation that I'm always wearing in my videos half of the time majority of the time and it is the elf satin finish foundation now this foundation is a go-to foundation for me one because it's only six dollars so i don't mind using it on a daily for my recordings and it is good if you ever tried the nars soft matte foundation this is definitely a dupe this is in the shade coco is for neutral undertones. I'm not usually in neutral undertones, but this one definitely works for me. And I love it. As you can see, it is almost done. Like I am really loving this. And it blends out so nicely and a little goes a long way with this foundation. The next item that I've been enjoying is this bronzer. And when you see my face, I'm all bronzed up. This is what I've been using and it is Coco Nutty from Fenty. Y'all yeah, know Fenty has a cream bronzer and then they have the powder. This is the powder bronzer. As you guys can see, I'm hitting pan on this one. This one is a really nice warm bronzer. So if you have golden undertones and you like a warm bronzer to warm up the face, which I love, then this one is a good one that you need to have in your collection. It stays in place and the pigment is really nice and it's super soft and blendable. I know I love a nice gloss and a nude lip. And one thing that I've really been enjoying is this lip liner and it's from Kiss, the Kiss Luxury Intense Lip Liner. Now this is the in the shade Luxury Intense. It's a perfect brown lip liner for brown skin. So if you're a black girl or if you're a lighter shade, it is perfect. Like it goes on and it stays on. You don't need to reapply this. All you got to do is reapply your gloss, especially if you're eating and stuff like that. So this is a really nice one and it's super affordable. And when you order it on Amazon, it comes in three. So trust me, this is good. This is so good. Like I don't need to buy any chestnut anymore from mac next item i've been enjoying is pretty new to the collection and this is a blush and i'm so new to blush because i never really wore blush but baby this right here is my favorite house for blush right now and it is the juvia's place blush duo now you guys know that i did a campaign with juvia's place and i showed the blushes but like that was not the first time i used the blush i actually bought this blush this is in the volume one and the week that i bought it the next week Juvia's Place reached out and was like, hey, do you want to jump on this campaign? And I was just like, whoa, Juvia's Place wants to work with me. I am honored. But the blushes, y'all, the pigment is amazing. And I love, love, love the blushes. I actually have a blush on today, but this is the blush um, this is the pinky, like beigey tone, because I didn't want to go too much because my eyelid is already bold. So 
if you're looking for a good blush that's affordable definitely the juvia's place this is 16 dollars, and look you have two blushes two blushes and it's a lot it is a lot so if you're looking for amazing blushes for a cheap price juvia's place blushes are amazing that i've really been enjoying is the setting spray from morphe and it is the morphe continuous setting spray now this one you already know how it is it's in a mist so because it's in a mist it's easier to distribute all over your face and once you put this on your face it sticks your makeup does not move i will go 10 hours 12 hours of you know recording and editing taking pauses going to the grocery coming back to record and my face still stays intact in that i wear makeup all the time i have to constantly make sure that my face is cleansed and this next item is perfect and when i discovered it it's been my favorite all month long and it is elf holy hydration makeup melting cleansing balm this is only 11 dollars, and i used to invest 40 dollars every other month on the clinique cleansing balm and when i ran out of the clinique cleansing balm i was looking for it i went to sephora i went to the cosmetic store i went to ulta i could not find it because i guess because of shipments and stuff like that like the company was backed up they could not I could not find it. So I was like looking for another cleansing balm and I was at Ulta and the girl was like, I was at that point, I was very tired. And she was like, well, have you tried the Elf one? I'm like, Elf has one? She's like, yeah, and it's just like the um, Clinique cleansing balm. So I said, okay. I felt like they just took the Clinique one and put it in this and then slapped the $11 and that was that. Like this melted my skin so well. Like the makeup literally fell off my skin. And when it was time to cleanse, <laughs> like there was really nothing there next item that i really been enjoying is a cleanser and this cleanser has been my holy grail and i just keep on repurchasing it because it's just so good and it is la roche Posay purifying cleansing foam now this one is a really good cleanser it's always in my favorites because i really really love it it's soap free sulfate free fragrance free um and it has niamicide and ceramide it is dermatologist tested safe for sensitive skin effectively cleans and removes excess oil i love this just two pumps is enough one full pump is more than enough for this um cleanser but because i do wear makeup so i just like to make sure that everything is off of my skin even after the cleanser so if you're looking for a nice purifying cleanser this is good and you get so much product and this and you can find it at ulta target next thing that i've been enjoying is this toner and this toner really have been doing miracles on my skin and i love it and it is good molecules namicide toner it's really helped my skin to get more smoother and even tone i love it this is a really good toner um usually i would just take it on my clean hands and then just pat it in love it you need it get it the next item is a serum and this is my go-to serum in my collection because y'all know i have hyperpigmentation i have dark spots i break out like a normal person my skin is not flawless and this right here helps me with those dark spots and it is a good molecules discoloration correcting serum this serum right here is really good like you literally just take a little bit of it one pump and y'all, when I tell you this right here, it's so smooth. It has my face smooth. It's not sticky at all. And it does help with the dark spots. I really love it. If you're looking for a really affordable dark spot corrector, because skincare is really expensive, this is good and it actually does work. I've been using it for a month now and I have noticed some dark spots lightening up. And that's just in one month this item that i've really been enjoying is a skin moisturizer slash spf and it is do the most moisturizer mel is a skincare brand that focus on dark skin like us melanated skin and i love this this is the do the most sheer moisturizer spf broad spectrum sunscreen so it's a sunscreen that moisturizes as well and it leaves a beautiful glow i love this this was sent to me by the brand but I'm definitely gonna get my hands on this again because I love it. It always, always, always leaves a nice glow on my skin and it doesn't have white cast. It's very good. 
I do go ham on this because it's only SPF 30. So it's a little bit smaller than most. And usually I would mix it with other um, sunscreens, but it's really good. So if you're looking for a good sunscreen for melanated skin, that's not going to keep your skin looking dry and, you know, malnourished, that's going to give you a good glow then definitely check this one out. That was all my September favorites. Forget that everything will be linked in the description box below. If I have any coupon codes, I'll definitely leave them in the description box below. Thank you so much for joining me here yet again. Comment down below some of your favorites that you've been enjoying the past month. If you found value in this video, go ahead and click that like button so that YouTube knows that your girl is doing something good on here. And I'll also leave two videos for y'all to watch because I know you can't get enough of me. Okay, okay. Until we see each other again, please, please, please stay safe and keep on smelling fragrances. Bye, chair bombs. Bye.